Шановні колеги, я хочу би до вас звернутися кресарку всі ми, хто вже, а хто скоро стане півотом. І тому ви наші колеги. Я хотів би представити всіх, які тут сьогодні учасниками. Перша і сама головна для вас особа – це особа Софії. Вона є керівником кадетської програми «Візи». Хто нам буде в цьому плані допомагати на сьогоднішній день, оскільки, ви знаєте, є нюанси щодо організації підготування літаків в Європі і на європейських авіалініях. Це наявність свідоцтва пілота під ІАЗ. У нас дуже багато є школ, які з нами заключили в договір, де ми можемо отримати ці свідоцтва пілота. Організували нашу цю зустріч і нам допомогли на зустрічі з компанією «Візе» – це компанія «Ефайр». Представниками якої є пан Кирчук і пан Микола. Саме головний представник в Україні компанії «Везер» – пан Андрій. Тому, будь ласка, я хотів би звернути вашу увагу, що сьогодні наші гості хочуть презентувати ті можливості, які можуть у вас відкритися після того, як ви пройдете всю систему підготовки. Великими перемовленнями, які ми проводили з компанією «Візер» і іншими компаніями в Європі, які можуть нам допомогти в цьому питанні, це велика робота, але це шанс той, який вам відкриває небо у всьому світі. Тому, якщо ви не заперечуєте, ми заслухаємо презентацію, яку нам підготовила Зофія, розкаже про всі ці перебіді, які пройшовши, які вам будуть змогли працювати в ІЗР, а деталізуємо ми потім з компаніями, які нам будуть допомагати в Європі, для того, щоб ви, скажімо так, дуже м'яко війшли в сертифікацію з ІАЗ. Це не легко, я вам зараз скажу по власному досвіду, не легко, але це того варто, щоб туди стоїти, бо воно відкриває вам всі. Тому, прошу, пані Зофі. Uh, 
um, to expand our future pilot pool as well. And the other thing is that in August, our CEO, Mr. Yosef Faradi, also announced that uh, there is a new view for the future. It's called Deezer 500. It means that we will almost uh, triple size our fleet in the next um, eight years, eight, nine years. So we will have, or we plan to have, uh, 500 new aircrafts uh, by, uh, by 2030. So this is another reason why uh, we believe that our expansion in Ukraine is, is quite important. Um, and also we have a university cooperation with other universities as well. So we already started this uh, kind of uh, structure, structure on the long term to ensure that we will have enough pilots local pilots um, for the next few years and uh, under this uh, cooperation we are here to sign this agreement with the university that all the candidates all, the, all of you all the students who are graduating from the university you can get a direct and primary access to our recruitment events in the future or if you are already graduated then it is valid for you if you have all your studies completed and also if you have the necessary licenses in hand, which means that uh, as you have an IQ license, it needs to be uh, converted to EOS system. So, because due to our operations um, regulated by EOS, we can only accept EOS licenses at the end of your training. But if you have this EOS license conversion and we have a solution for that, um, the representatives of the flight school are also here and they can give you some information about the conversion process. So if the conversion is done, then you are welcome to join us um, on the recruitment sessions where you can see that um, how is your uh, skills or abilities uh, for this, for this uh, position. So this is one, one side that uh, direct access to the recruitment sessions. Uh, on the other hand, um, under this agreement, we will give you lectures at the end of your, uh, at the end of uh, the last year of your studies. So it means that one of the recruitment assessors or one um, one of the standardization instructors and the their uh, ATO team could uh, uh, would uh, travel here and give you some information and lectures about the company itself, about some some insight, an overall insight about the pilot life, also some tips and guidance for the recruitment event and some airline procedures and uh, airline preparations for the, for the future. So, so under this, this, this agreement, we will give you uh, continuous contact and uh, a support for, for the next few years and also you, you could have the chance to, um, to, to try your stuff out on the, on the recruitment sessions. Uh, you can imagine that due to COVID we have thousands of non-titrated pilots who are in our system, who are in our pool, who would like to apply and who would like to be recruited, but as it's a it's a big number of, of candidates, we are not able to recruit all of them at the moment, so that's why this, um, this initiative with the university, it would, uh, it would uh, give you or provide you the chance to, to be the first ones to, to be recruited for, for our airline operations. So, uh, how it's, it's going to work uh, in the next few months is that for the ones who are graduated now, who already uh, finished their university studies, uh, we would organize a pre-selection for them around November, December. And the ones who are passing this uh, pre-selection, they can start their ESA licensing conversion, or sorry, ICO licensing conversion to ECO license uh, starting from December the earliest in order to to finish all the necessary conversion trainings till next year so you can get um, the, the final license within 10 months roughly because uh, as part of the conversion you need to pass all the uh, 1480 PL subjects again and also uh, convert the, the practical licenses so it's around an 8 a uh, 10 small period to do the conversion process and you, then you can apply for our position and uh, have the final uh, recruitment or final assessment. Uh, now during this, uh, this pre-selection
mentioned, as I mentioned, as one of my colleagues who travel here, who is responsible for the university um, uh, students or cadets uh, screening. So he would do a preselection. What you can expect from this preselection is basically just a general conversation, just a general discussion uh, with, uh, with our assessor. Uh, we would like to get an overall insight about your English knowledge, about your in, in, about the level of your English knowledge, about your uh, general motivation, uh, general knowledge about aviation. Not going into too much details about the specification of of, of the APP subject. Just a general uh, conversation about uh, aviation itself, and uh, and then. Uh, just to see your presentation skills, how you can present yourself. So this is one of the ways uh, later on what you will be doing the final assessment. So uh, we will do this preselection around November. Uh, we will organize it with our management team, and then the ones who are selected, then they can start the IASA or the IPO license conversion process for the long term. So basically this is uh, what we agree with the university and we are really happy that uh, we can cooperate together for the next few years and later on. And this is the first step to, to have all of you who are already have the, the license and the diploma in hand uh, to start your conversion as soon as possible in order to join our fleet uh, next week. Sorry, next next year, uh, starting the, the, the second part of next week. That would be that would be better because we need pilots as well. So it would be the best if you could join next week, but only next year if it's possible, of course. Um, I'm not sure if uh, if you have any questions about it, or we will do the questions part later on. Or at the other time with me. So now I would I would give the word uh, to my colleague. Uh, Andrei, you can speak a little bit about the, the Ukrainian expansion itself. Just let me know. Hi guys, my name is Andrei. I'm from Western Ukraine, so Andrei, Andrei, whatever. Um, it's nice to see you. I am a country manager of the Ukraine. Country manager basically means that I'm the one who is responsible for all pilots in Ukraine who would fly for the desert. And um, I came here just to see, just to say that, uh, you know, 20, 10 years ago I started my career with this. It was uh, not the easiest thing to start because it really like pushed me to study and to learn something new a lot. And uh, I really came with that actually. I became a part of this company and because it was always transparent, it always was predictable and quite fair to me. So I always knew that whatever I'm doing, I'm going to be paid. Whatever I'm doing, I'm going to be secure. Uh, whatever the company is promised me is going to happen. Uh, if something I don't like, I can discuss it. So it's not like that actually this is my decision and it's never come. I mean, it will never come back to this topic again. I'm flying the brave new aircraft. I think the oldest one in Ukraine is right now 4 years old. There is zero problems with aircraft. There is uh, everything works like it should be working, you know, like, like, like it's supposed to be in the normal life. So all what you have to do basically is just to come to your work, do your job, get home, and that's it. And then just follow the career path, you know, which is also a good task. Um, we need a pilot. Basically, we can say, like, our concern wants you, really wants you, you know, all of you. I mean, believe me that uh, in the very best case, uh, if all of you are on a journey with their staying in Ukraine, in the Ukrainian basis, it's still not going to be enough for us to cover all this expansion. So, uh, we really need a pilot, we need a lot of pilots, we need Ukrainians working here in Ukraine to cover our needs, uh, to cover our expansion, because expansion is going to be very massive up to the, uh, let's say, thousands of aircraft in the nearest future. So, please apply, please study, please learn, please come, and uh, I'll be really very happy to see you and to work together with you. That's it. And if you have questions, you can ask me afterwards. Yeah, you can ask. Yeah, I'm sorry. Good day. Yeah, I want to ask you, how long will the contract be valid? How long will I stay in this area as a cadet? And how long will I work for you? How long? You mean the contract as a cadet? Yeah. Your contract is now expired. I mean, no, it doesn't have the service. 
So basically, when you turn the when you turn the zero, it doesn't put the terms. I mean, the end and uh, and and time, the you know, finishing time, let's say. So you turn the zero, you are you are kind of, you are paying the one for the four years. Then actually, we kind of are ready to the senior professor. You apply to the senior professor for like one and a half years, and then you become a backup. So you're constantly signing the new contract, but actually, you mean know, because you're waiting the right place, you know. So it's not that. Thank you. Oh, well. And later on, I can give you the answer from your only questions if you want. Just because I think you should like to listen. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
company visitor will complete this, uh, this plan because I know the visitor from the beginning. Uh, always I was surprised how they are working and now this is company who are here to propose, to bring the proposal to get the job at the finals. I think it's the most, most crucial information you will receive or you have received today. Of course, uh, how, how Sophie, Sophie said, uh, the one of, beside the others, one of crucial, essential condition is to have the EASA European license, ATP or Frozen, let's say. So, they are our second role in this partnership with the University uh, to bring to you the solution. Once you will recognize, you would recognize the proposal from Wizard like, uh, like nice for you. Uh, so we are here to bring you a solution how to con convert how to convert your IKO CPL or PPL to EASA ATPL. Yeah. It's a, this program is not not really complicated. Yeah. It's just but you must you must pass some parts of this program, some steps. You would you, you must go for approximately six, seven months to Czech Republic, to EASA country, to provide the lot of training, to provide the theoretical exams, to provide the flight training, to provide the perform, to perform the final skill test. This program is, consists of uh, approximately 80 flight hours, which is uh, 40 on the aircraft, 40 on the simulator, and, uh, and uh, essential parts of this program, this flight program, is module multi-engine according to EASA regulation, module instrument rating according to EASA, and module CPL according to EASA. In the beginning, uh, the total program spent uh, about the 10 months because in the beginning we start the we, for the applicants, we start the, uh, beside after the pre screening, uh, uh, how uh, Sophie already said. Uh, after pre screening, we start the online distance study of ATPL subjects of the first part. You will study approximately three months here in Ukraine, like same instrument like, like we use for this conference today online. After three months you will arrive to Czech Republic, to the Prague, and uh, you start, you continue theoretic lessons. You start, you start also the first part of ATPL tests, ATPL examination, theoretical. And in the meantime you start the flight training. After 10 months, we finish all by final skill test, but all the, of course, all the details about the training, it's not necessary to, to go to the details today. Uh, we will provide our, our colleagues from the university, and also all of you, we provide the details by, uh, by exact uh, proposal. So, uh, it's not ready of today discussion to go to details, how many landings and so on and so on. Uh, essential information. Who would like to have the job with, uh, in, uh, to get the job from this year in Ukraine? It's a big, big opportunity for you to get the job in Europe. Not only to get the job, because uh, it, in this COVID time period, it's not very easy to get the job like pilot. But first advantage is you 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 could, you can get the job. But second one is also you can get the job at home. It's very important for you. It's very important because you know that we have many, many students also in Prague and also the other countries. And it's not very easy to go to go for three, four, five years abroad and to work in uh, another other country. It's a privilege for you 
to get a job at home for Ukraine people, persons, citizens. So uh, I think that uh, today is a big moment for you. Uh, uh, our presentation is not about the future and plans and plans and plans. This, this presentation is very concrete. Okay? If you would like to work for one of the largest and, and fastest, fastest uh, growing company, airline company in Europe, you have the opportunity at the moment. But you must to do something, what you must to do to make conversion for AI license. We are here, we can help you. If you go start the program, we would like to start in December this program uh, with online. Once you, start, once you start it, after 10, 11 months, you get the license in Alta and you can apply for the job. Uh, to, for, for the job at, uh, at uh, your future employer. So, uh, I'm happy, really, again, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that such many people can get definitely, because uh, it means it's a first uh, declaration of your interest. You have arrived to this meeting. Some of you also, you are online, of course, there are some obstacles, we understand it, but I'm, I'm very happy so many, so how many people, how many persons, how many candidates came here uh, to this, uh, to this lunch, uh, to this hall, uh, to this class. So, if you have any question for the the program of conversion uh, to Elsa. I'm here, of course. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation to us. It was very interesting to hear about the opportunities, the advantages, uh, and uh, the probability of uh, being filed on the future. But, uh, sorry for such uh, a question. What about the price? Because it's very important <laughs> for all of us, for students and for other parents. Uh, uh, really, uh, I am not surprised by this question <laughs> because uh, I, I told you, I said already, we train the pilots 31 years. Yeah. Everybody asks for the brakes. Uh, it's very simple. It's very simple. It's impossible to say price exactly for one euro. Yeah. But you can help, you you can take the consideration. The price for conversion is approximately about 25,000 euros. Including skill test, including examination, including airplane, including uh, including instructor report, and so on. Uh, plus, uh, you, you must go at some some additional amount for the living. Yeah, but living is uh, it's necessary to understand what does it mean living cost. You eat the bread here, same bread you will eat in Czech Republic because we have the same price. Same prices, absolutely. The bread is same by here, like in, in, in Prague, in Czech Republic. Different. What is? What is it? Yes, you, you should to pay. You should to pay accommodation. But we have a very nice campus for the students with low, very low prices. So the price is approximately 10, 12 euro per day. Yeah. So the cost of six, seven months in Prague, in Czech Republic, is not not a big deal. Not big deal. Price for flight fare for full conversion is approximately 25,000 euros. Did you
what uh, what will be what price will be and how long the, the what is the period for uh, conversion process in this case and that price uh, which you said twenty five thousand is that only for conversion course or with the time rate for uh, uh, bus? Uh, no, I explain it a little bit more clearly. 25,000 is 80 upper score conversion course for CPL holders, IPO CPL holders who has no experience. Yeah? If you have some, if there are some pilots who has already experienced like pilots and Boeing 737 and must be and something like that, uh, uh, the process is absolutely different. Yeah, because we must do it. Uh, case by case, yeah, to check your your experience, your total flight time, uh, what, which uh, which uh, license do you have, uh, how about the IQ or English and so on and so on. But definitely, generally, I can say the if you have the if the pilot has the more than one thousand five hundred hours as the pilot of, in some airline and some airline. The conversion for the ASA consists of 80 PL 14 subjects uh, examination. You must pass all the subjects. Yeah? It means that spend two, three months, two, three months minimum, yeah? uh, to pass the all the, all the 14 subjects. And some proficiency check. Yeah? And the how will be the proficiency check is the decision of the people from CA. Yeah? They have said, according to your experience, it's okay, uh, simulate the check for somebody must must to pass skill test on the airplane also. It's not very complicated, but critical one is to pass the 14 subject uh, ATPL without theoretical lessons. You don't need to enter theoretical lessons, yeah? direct to. But I don't know the exact procedure of this air, how to do it with the people who are already related to the aircraft uh, with conversion and uh, uh, maybe you can say something about that, I don't know. Yeah. Because... Uh, okay, I can say that right now... Uh, so, uh, right now what we're looking for is that uh, we can validate, probably, we still waiting for the answer from the CAA, from the EASA, basically, that we can validate the pilots with the Type 20, P20, and then they are going, basically, with that, the, the, what I did when I was the first officer here. So then you are going under the conversion of the license. So you are going to the 14 EASA, 14, 14 PTP exams, and then EASA check, and then you are released, you can go. That's actually, I hope that we can expect the answer very like, soon because it, I mean, we don't expect like, a very significant delay on that. This program and this actual procedure is described, is described in the in the NASA documents. It's a question of the, let's say, CAE, if they want to do it, who do you know the CAE, if they want to do it or not, again, you know, due to the different, uh, because of the different reasons. And then, basically, all of what we're going to wait for is just your application, if you are you have to have to be fine at rate and then you're going for validation. The validation lasts like one year, but actually within the last one year you have to pass a few exams in the Hungarian C and then actually you're getting the validation for another one year. And overall the ASA exams takes 18 months, they give you 18 months. It's not easy for the process, uh, obviously because at the same time you're gonna have the New York community gonna apply under the validation of the ASA right? So you're gonna apply Family, yes, but it's much better than that. One more question. Huh? Of course. Uh, if I have, I have just started to, to learn the ASA exam here in Ukraine, and I want to do it to finish it, it must have been uh, six months or eight months. I uh, imagine that where I have just passed it, and I want to, to make a type of rank for Airbus uh, uh, A320. Then, uh, how much will it cost and how long uh, 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 will it take for me? I don't know how much it's going to take for you. I mean, how much it's going to cost. I'm not sure. What is the price for a type rate? I mean, yeah, but actually, we don't need to do the type rate. 
would it, would it, would it, would it look at that critic like uh, ATO, you know, we're not like a flight safety or not like that. So you will basically you can go to any any ASA approved uh, certified like rating organization like flight safety or safety or whatever, whatever they have. It will not be a contract, it will not be uh, not be a credit. I should do it by myself by It depends. I mean if one question is that actually you're coming with us, you're coming to us with the the ASA license. Yes. You came to us with the ASA license and you want to say like, okay, you have a point seven to seven or whatever, you have to be a license. So then you're going to the factory. And then actually, I don't know how much you want to go, so how much you want to do. If I will have only a theory of the ASA exams, I mean, I will pass it successfully and... Uh, you will pass it successfully exams, but then actually when you're migrating on 77 or whatever, you have to go for the ATO, or, or, I mean, certified in Europe, with instructor to be certified by us. And then to do the check with him, and he's going to issue with you uh, the license. Then with this license, you're coming to us, and then you're going for the type rating. That makes sense. Otherwise, it doesn't work like that. And then actually, you, if your first officer or captain, depends how low it's going to be. I don't know the price of the type rating committee there. One question. One question. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.
Sorry? You are running the concept of that. Ah, for the validation because program. Because other, other programmers are very secure, you know, like other people want to work with us because we want it, but other want to work with us. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Not on the other hand, I must add, uh, as a part of educational chain, uh, I must also add, if you something would, would like to achieve, you must to do something. Yeah? Nothing can it, itself. Yeah? So I know that it's very hard to do after validation to, to, to work, and in the meantime to, to learn for, 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 for exams, yeah? for the interns. But it's a life. Yeah? It's a life. Nothing will come itself. Same, same for the students or for the candidates who would like to make a full conversion. Yeah, okay. This is way, short is way, no other short is way in the, uh, in the Europe. You go for six, seven months to Czech Republic and, and to, pass the, to pass the training and to get the license. But if you do something, you go forward the chains, you meet the final target. But it's essential, I hope that uh, you have heard these words the first time you went at this university. Yeah? It's the same. Uh, nobody is saying to graduate without, without uh, work, without learning, without uh, motivation. Yeah? And, uh, and the, the, the pilot profession is definitely about uh, working all the time. Once you finish the, the, the training, you get the license. It doesn't mean you finish. Once you pass the type rating, the screening, the successful assessment, type rating, it doesn't mean it's finished. All your aviation life, you will be learning all the time. Because why? Uh, after it's another advantage of, of a company uh, such a wizard as here. After four years, four or five years, you jump from the right side to the left side. You will be captain. You will have again another little bit better job. More salary, more, more, more money. Of course, for responsibility, because as the captain, you will have more responsibility. This is the reason why you will have more money. Yeah. But the career in the wizard is real brilliant, because we have the one our pilot, uh, our, our uh, pilot who, who, who we train, the working for Vizera, he was kept in like 27, something like 27. Yeah, I met him, 27. Year, years old, <laughs> not 19, 27. <laughs> uh, so if you, if you, if really you are here to, in, in purpose to achieve something, okay, you, you have open door, open door. But you have to spend something. Of, of course, money, of course your time, of course your worries, yeah, of course your travels, because sometimes you will you will have to manage how to do it, work and learn in the same time. But finally you will definitely you will achieve the success. You will achieve the success. Okay, any other question? Yeah, Mike. Yes? Uh, it's a question for Sophia. Uh, so we're talking about the candidate program, but everything we've been talking to today is the conversions. What about the initial candidate program? Yeah. Why, why, why yeah. don't we go to Europe and do it from scratch? Uh, what you call it? Which kind of program do you need? Is it a pilot academy or a program? Yeah, like you said, pilot academy. So you go, you apply, and you start in Europe from scratch, and then it's from the beginning of that, instead of going through the process of conversion. And everything. Can we? Can you bring us apply for that program? Of course, of course. Uh, I'm really happy that more and more Ukrainian uh, candidates are applying and basically uh, enrolling to the program. So now, from starting from the last year, we have around 15 Ukrainian candidates are already in the program studying. So this is the other pillar of our um, our cooperation for the future. Uh, but this is something another structure because this is basically without the ability for candidates with only a high school degree a graduation so it's, it's, it's a very different uh, way but it's also available for Ukrainians. All right, thank you. Thank you. No, I yes, 
I mentioned, but it's not with not job for you yeah, because uh, you are already on the final stage here. But for your, for your, for example, for your classmates from the first course, from the first course, it's our plan with uh, the university leaders to, to open the cadet, full cadet program since since zero time here yeah, in full integrated EASA EASA course according to EASA rules. So, but it's uh, not not correct, not related to you, but related to your younger classmates who entered this year, entered the university. From the next year, you would like to open this uh, uh, for this year, for this first course, we would like to open full integrated course uh, under the EASA, uh, according to EASA regulation. That yeah. this will be part of the program. So, any other questions? Yes. My name is Azar, and my question is, what if I'm about to finish my education and to get my li licenses, but I'll still have to spend about four months from now to get them? Uh, how often uh, will, will you provide any uh, probability for uh, now students to apply for your job? And uh, how can I get in contact with you? For example, in four months, when I will be ready to convert my license, uh, what do I need to uh, get in contact with you and uh, pass uh, all the exams to be able to convert my license? Mm -hmm. And uh, if I understand that you will have the ICO licenses, uh, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you are interested in, in the case of conversion part? Uh, I don't have it right now. Okay, I will uh, be able to get it in, in about four months mm -hmm. from now. And uh, will it be more difficult for me to pass to your uh, like? It's difficult to explain right now. How often will I be able to to join the program? To join the program. It uh, is available only for the December, or at any time when I'm ready, I can uh, contact someone and ask uh, if I. Uh, yes, so after graduation, we plan to have these pre selections for this uh, ESO conversion on a, I don't know, on a, within a few months, once we will have a group of uh, students who graduated from the university, we will organize this pre selection. They come here to do this. And then, if you pass on this, you can uh, get in touch with the high school for the conversion details. Uh, to understand clearly, you at the moment you you do you perform the conversion in some high school in Europe. Yeah? No, I don't perform it. I'm just uh, studying to become to become an ICAO pilot to get a uh, CPL license. I can. I I can license yeah. uh, in Ukraine. But, that, but I don't have it now. And, and do you have the PPL? I have PPL. And how many is my dollars? Uh, 157. That's OK. I forgot. I have, I have to add. But thank you for this question. Very important. Because the program of conversion for the, for the, for the, to enter this program for 18 hours, it's not necessary to have the CPL. It's Low ICO PPL is enough. ICO PPL is enough. Plus 155 hours. In case you have the 155 hours on the airplane, on the airplane, and you are holder of PPL, you can enter the conversion course CPL Mount Engine IR in Czech Republic, and you will get the license. A CPL multi engine IR in according to EASA. So you personally, you can join the program immediately. Yeah? No, no restrictions. And, uh, and uh, we, we would like to, the, the, uh, the con concerning to, to planning to our plans, we would like to have the press screening in November, in November, and we would like to start this conversion course. In December, December, you we register all the applicants to check 
si byl ve větší maturity, jako to je Eaza. We register you like Eaza students. Three months you will be here. Online distance, distance study of ATP or theory. And after three months, it means the Feb something like February, you will come to Czech Republic for six, seven months to finish the order training. But you can enter at the moment. Yeah? Not necessary CPL. PPL is enough. Yeah? According to EASA regulations. That's so, it. another question. What, is, what will be the difference in my education if I have only PPL or if no I have only No difference. No difference because uh, we mu must, we must, it's minimum what we must do. Is eight hours of conversion of conversion bonds, and all of you, even you have the CPL, you must pass all the theoretical lessons, 65, uh, 650 hours minimum, yeah, theoretical lessons, and you, all of you must pass all 14 subject examination. Even you have PPL or CPL, doesn't matter, no difference. Yeah. So if I have uh... No advantage. No advantage. No advantage. Uh, maybe one advantage. Sorry, excuse me. One advantage is because as CPL you have passed the ninth grade. Yeah, definitely. It's obligated. It's, uh, it's, it's obliged. It's mandatory. For some PPL, if they have no no night grade, they have 150 hours, but no night. Uh, it means it means you must do at night training to the. To add this module, five hours module, to add to eight hours. So, once again, I put the summary. PPL is minimum. 155 hours is minimum to enter the conversion course. And in case you have no night, you have no night, you must pass night training five hours flight like edition. Yeah? And after that, you can add the, you, you can enter the 80 hours uh, conversion course. And what if I started my uh, study as a PPL student and then during those three months I finished my uh, education here in Ukraine I got, and got my CPL license? No, no difference. No difference. No difference. Really, yeah, really. Same, same procedure so for PPL. So I can PPL apply license. now yeah. and finish my education for my CPL license and then I want uh, uh, won't pay for night training in your school. If you have no night, you can pay night and our school. Yeah, of course. To, to holders of PPL who has who, who need to perform the night, it is possible to, to perform a chapter Yeah, definitely. Just one question to clarify. Yes. So basically what we're saying right here, there is no need to do CPL in Ukraine whatsoever, because you always money. No, no. For this for for the program of conversion, no need. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely. Of course, there is the advantage for you because if you have the CPL, you come back from Prague uh -huh. after one year and you will have both licenses. Yeah. Uh, but uh, of course, this is matter of our discussion with the uh, discussion with the leaders of your university how to create the transformation period uh, to finalize everything, uh, uh, everything here. But of course, I must to say, I must to say, that for you, it's not, uh, not the same. Because it's very difficult for, for a future employer, employer, it's not the same. Because it's very big difference between people who pass the CPL integrated course, even I feel 150 hours, who pass the integrated course. It's very big difference in case you compare with the candidate who has the PPL and 100 hours he flew around the chimney. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yeah. Because imagine, this is pilot who has 150 hours, PPL, 150 hours, but 100 hours he flew with grandmother around the building. Yeah. What is it, it really? I know many candidates like that. 
because they apply it for pleasure. <laughs> you, no of you should fly for pleasure in the beginning. You will be professional pilots. You must to fly in a, with target to get the experience. Yeah? An integrated core CPL is much higher level than PPL with 150 hours. Very simple. Very simple. Because it's my, I promise to my partner, I guarantee to my partner, to, to the airline, that I provide the airline only about, with high quality pilots, not license holders. It's a big difference. Big difference. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for this question. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, guys, last sentence. You will have hundred questions later because I am I know it. You will leave this at the hall. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to say to this. Please collect all the all your questions to one email or to one one uh, document. I send it to the to the leaders from the university. They pass it to us, and we will reply. You, we will reply you uh, uh, each individual. Yeah. Of course, we plan to come again in the middle of November uh, to before press screen, before press screen. We definitely can come again from practice one and a half hour by visa. <laughs> uh, it's uh, very easy to reach the, to to achieve the or to to read the, to read the kit from the back. Definitely, we will come again in mid of November. In mid of November, we have the, we will have the again meeting with you to clarify all the other questions. Meantime, send us by uh, the best one is by email. Yeah? Okay. So thank you guys. Thank you once again. Uh, thank you. You you have the right. Ja to wiem, żebyście wskazali, nie znając, że zadania z innej uniwersytety były ciężkie i czasy jeszcze do realizacji do tego wypadki. Chodziłby nam w Siliotnym Szkole przedstawiali przejście tego, co było realizowane, i dzięki temu to proszę, bo ona była być mężczyzną na ważną linię. I razem z nami w tym zjednoczeniu uczestniczył w tym wypadku. Zapomnieć, i багато з вас, хто там літає в Кондорі. Я хотів би, щоб він висказався своє бачення у даному плані. І я би хотів би сказати про те, що він оце розкаже, і ми розходимося. Але хочу сказати, що оці технічні питання, які ви зараз задаєте, вони всі абсолютно індивідуальні. Бо в авіації немає ні у кого одинакових шляхів. Ми перебуваємо дуже тяжко на такому стані, в стані, як ви сказали, навіть стає нації якоїсь авіації, але хочу зазначити, хто хто любить небо, завжди пророблеться. Це перше. І друге те, що ми вам в цьому поможемо, бо ми знаємо всі шляхи, як до неба просягнутися і літати, і як би захочете. Тому всі Нюанси, вони є достатньо індивідуальними. Ми будемо збирати всі ваші запитання. І от не далі, чим через місяць, ми будемо зустрічатися. Це також для того, щоб вже підписати контракти по різним напрямкам. На сьогоднішній день ми зібрали, ну, ми бачимо поки що, два шляхи. Перший – від нульового рівня. Доль до IPL Frozen і CPL IA – це один аспект. Значить, це ті, хто поступив на перший курс і починають навчання у нас. І друга частина – це та частина, яка досягла якогось рівня, яка має якусь кваліфікацію, там IPL, CPL, IPL. Це інший аспект, і ми розглядаємо це питання як перехід трансформацію в ІАЗа 
через конвертацію до Білорусських спільноцтв. Це буде інша програма, але ми вже її закладуємо. З тим, щоб зменшити фінансову складову на вас, бо це все-таки фінансова складова. І хочу зауважити, що ВІЗЕ, наскільки мені відомо, тай брейкінг, вона фінансує окремо. Тому та частина, яку ви, може, запродували після отримання свідоцтв на тай брейкінг, це вам компанія ВІЗЕ задоволення предоставить кредитування, і вона вже сказала, що там розпіль. Вже про їхні проблеми, але ось тому случаю вони не будуть витривати, це добре. Тому хочеться зауважити, що фігон – це така професія, що завжди собі заробить гроші. Головне, щоб стартувати. Тому я хотів би, щоб ви були націлені на цю професію. Головне – знання, розуміння. Ми вам цього допомогли, ще раз я вам скажу. Індивідуальне питання є у нас з відвідувачками до пані Колексан Сергійович. Всі питання, які індивідуально ми будемо на нього згодуємо ці питання, він буде всі питання рахувати. І якщо якісь треба консультативні питання, також я для всіх відкритий. Я всіх можу проконсультувати, я цей шлях вже пройшов, я знаю, як туди діти. Тому я вам можу розказати з практики, що робити в конкретних ситуаціях. Ще раз повторюю, що в кожний шлях дуже індивідуальний, і тому кожен індивідуальний треба розглядати. Це я говорю про тих, хто вже вивчився і хто має якісь ліцензії і там. Трансформація їх в ІАЗі ліцензію. Тому, Олена Зимач, тоді ми всі відкриті для вас, ще раз повторю, ми працюємо на вас і хочемо, щоб ви після закінчення Національного ліцінного університету. Про нас згадували тепло слово, тому будемо запрошувати сюди виконання, будемо запрошувати своїх колорів, ті, які будуть надавати вам можливість працевлаштуватися. Ну, я з вами прощаюсь, а ви розуміляєте, будь ласка, ще пару слів скажіть від свого імені. І будемо завершувати, ще раз повторюсь, наші двері завжди для вас відкриті, будь ласка, спілкуємося всі разом. Дякую. Добрий день. Поскольку ми тут знакомимося з одною, почти с тем всеми, что я быстро, быстро скажу, не буду долго затягивать. То есть ситуация ну, складывается таким образом, что э, компания «Визер» ищет частоту полета в Украине и ищет украинских пилотов из числа граждан Украины. Основным требованием является ясно. Это все понятно. Два пути э, существуют по улучшению ясно. Первый – интегрейтед курс, комплексный, это с нуля и до 150 часов ГАЗа плюс теория. И второй – это модульный курс, получение сертифика и дальнейшее вхождение в модульный курс ГАЗа. По цене эти два курса одинаковые по стоимости. Модульный курс дает возможность найти себя на Украине, попробовать, и если не получается, значит интегрироваться в этот курс ИАЗ обучения. Сразу скажу, с точки зрения мотивации, это результат того разговора в двухдневных, с точки зрения мотивации, как я понимаю, Компания Визаев любезно предложила проведение предварительного собеседования при скрине, так называемого, для того, чтобы вы могли проходить собеседование, определять свою дальнейшую пригодность к работе в этой компании. 
Как я понимаю, что информация о данных кандидатов и все остальное будет на каким-то образом на сайте МНАУ или в чате в каком-то или в группе, но каким-то образом будет организовано, вы будете получать свою временную информацию для этих собеседований. Второе, если компания Визель любезно открывает кредитную программу, как я понял, то так говорите. То есть, ну, деньги, которые планировали вы на так рейтинг, они не могут быть потрачены на подготовку я в случае с безоверкой. Вот. Это, в принципе, э, ну, все, что я хочу сказать. Ну и второй курс модульный, в чем смысл, что, ну, в принципе, лучше освоение материала и больше гарантия сдачи экзамена, э, а теперь уже и вы проходите его практически два раза по одной программе, по одному учебнику. Ну, вот все. Значит, курс, как он, комплексный курс, интегрированный пиазом 150 часов, модульный вход 155, окончание 195. И вот тут вы варьируете от налета, который у вас есть. Не меньше 100, не больше 150, это украинская. Сибирь, Укра... Икао украинская, это 150 часов. То есть это практически входной, входной налет на модульный курс ясно. Так что всем желаю успехов, удачи и вперед. Если есть вопросы, то говорите, или приходите, вы и так часто бываете, пишите.
як ви стаєте дивотами, і все буде в порядку. Так дуже багато програм працює і в пострадянському просторі, і в Литві, і в Латвії, я знаю, і ну, в Скільській фотоманії є, тому ми до цього також дійдемо. І я думаю, це буде дуже швидко, тому що всі заінтересовані і знають, хто такі льотчики. Льотчики – це самі професійні, самі здібні, і самі здорові, і самі кращі люди. Тому здоров'я вам. Е, і на днем, і всього доброго, доброго, я дякую.